Hello and welcome back to Space Adventure with the Vexer. Hopefully you guys are staying safe indoors and protected from the pandemic that's happening outside. But Pandemic Playground here is to entertain you guys. So, today we are going to kick out some friends that we inherited. And by friends, I mean the enemies or NPCs that are kind of hiding out in our base. So let's get started. So every time I load up the game, these two are just doing something really, really funky. And that is leaving the shield and then trying to attack me and slowly coming back to get me. So this happens every time I load up the game. So, I mean, that's a potential chance for me to actually take some parts off of them. But I don't really plan to. <laughs> so yeah, so now they're back in here trying to destroy me, I guess. And there's nothing I can do about it. And once they get in here, they stay here. And they don't pay any rent or anything like that. So I gotta find a way to kick them out. So I think one of the ways I can try to kick them out is, of course, by um, pushing them out of the shield. So some of the comments had told me to try to use the uh, landing gear to link on them and then push them out. I don't think that's going to work, mainly because landing gears don't work in the shield. Or in the safe zone, as you want to call it. So let me try that really quick, just to show you if it does work or not. And I have auto lock on, I believe. So it should automatically hook onto this plate here. But it doesn't, because I'm not even next to it. <laughs> That's one. Um, let's try that again. And two, even if I do hook onto them and, and try to leave, there's a potential, ch potential chance that I might leave the shield and it's going to start shooting me. So that's not going to be very helpful either. Unless I could find a way to really do it. But here we go. So I'm attached to him. Supposedly, supposedly attached to him, but the landing gear doesn't work. And it's on auto lock, as I mentioned before. So let's see here. Landing gear is on auto lock and it doesn't work. So if it doesn't work, it would suggest it. Let's push them out. If I push them out, it might work out okay. But if I push them out too far and go with them, I think I'm going to get shot. Which is not ideal. Alright, so this looks kind of like the safe spot to do it. This is a big ship. It's so much bigger than my ship, to be honest. And this guy's closing in on me. Checking out what I'm trying to do to his buddy, I guess. I don't know what the hell's going on. Now let's turn on the hydrogen and do a little bit of a pushing action. So pushing it kind of works, kind of doesn't because it's fighting me. So yeah, that's definitely not working out pretty well at all. I'm not moving. It's moving. As you see here, see, it's moving closer and closer to me. So pushing it is not ideal. Definitely not going to work out. I can ram it a little bit to see what happens. But I don't think it's going to do anything. So he's fighting back with his thrusters, I believe. Oh, no. no. Got something going. And pushing him out just a tiny bit. Oh, can't really tell if it's working. Something's happening. Alright. No, I don't think it's going to do too much and I'm wasting a lot of energy here. Prefer to kind of save that energy for later. So, I did to push him out a little bit. Hold on. Let's see what I did. Okay, so I pushed him... A little bit but he has big thrusters to really fight back so that's not gonna be easy to do um he is backing up a little bit every time I move back a little bit so what happens if I go outside can I go outside right now yeah I can go outside come get me I'm outside and I don't know what they're doing oh uh oh, oh I'm coming out if he comes out I think I'm safe 
no, I'm not really safe on the underbelly either. I think I'm safe on the side of it, so I can grind out the thrusters. But I cannot, I'm not safe if I'm above or below. Because it's got turrets there. Alright, so, yeah, it's not much I can do at the moment. Um, let's turn off the hydrogen. And also, the new update came out, which gave us an opportunity to make smaller hydrogen tanks. And it looks like this here. So this is a small hydrogen tank. The small hydrogen tan. <laughs> for some reason, but that's a small one. Here's a small one for small grid. Looks interesting. Um, I know right now it's on. I, I can't attach it right now, so I just put it out here. So I want to attach this. Instead of putting a big one, I can attach this one right over here for now. And get some hydrogen energy from it. Or maybe I can put it here. Nope, I can't put it there. There's no attachment there. If I put it here, it's going to cover up my farm. And that's not actually ideal either. Um, It's just too bad. going to have to do it that way anyways. So these guys are just flying around. Just messing around uh, for no reason. But I need to update my ship a little bit. So I can't kick them out. Whatsoever. He's going a little crazy. I'm gonna go outside a bit and hopefully it doesn't follow me. And if it does follow me, oh wells. Uh, might be a good thing. So I am outside. And I think he's gonna follow me. I'm not sure. That's coming out a little bit. Let me like halfway stick my head in and out and see if I can take advantage of this. It looks like I can take advantage of some of these, so nope. He's not completely out yet. So cannot get anything off of them. You have to be completely out, I guess, right? Oh man, they're going crazy. Let me get back in here. Do they have to come out completely in order to, like, mess with me? Like, if I'm halfway in, can I break my stuff? Oh, that's interesting. So if you're halfway in, it doesn't make a difference. You're, you're still safe in some ways. That you can't even break your, your stuff. Can you build? So you're still safe as long as you're touching a little bit inside the shield. So that's not very helpful. Uh, so you definitely have to be outside a little bit in order to to actually build stuff. Huh. That's going to be really, really tricky. So every time I stick out a little bit, they're going to follow me a bit. And stick out just a tiny bit. But if I stick out just enough, I'm still in the safe zone. But now I'm not in the safe zone. Just like that. So... What I might do is actually just add another control seat outside so I can quickly get into it. I'll put it here for now. A little awkward spot, but if something is to come after me, at least I have a good hiding spot and keep myself safe. These things have missiles, which is going to shoot me down really, really quickly if I don't pay attention to that. So, yeah. Operation kick out our friends. It's a bit of a failure, but I mean, they are doing something. If I leave, it might work out, but it also has a chance for them to kind of shoot me down too. Let's see, what do I need here? I need, wow, that's a lot of large steel tubes. I don't have all that, or maybe I don't have enough space. I don't have enough space. All right, so we're going to stick this guy here. Um, is there any cool spot for this? Uh, let's do it sideways. All right, we'll stick that here. So it has one entrance, it looks like, or one conveyor hole. All right. No, it has two. Okay. So this is a hydrogen flammable tank. Tan, I should say. <laughs> hydrogen tan. All right. So that's supposed to be filling up, I believe. There we go. So it's pulling ice or hydrogen from the O2 generators. 
that my O2 generators are producing hydrogen through the ice. And this is filling up pretty quickly, actually. That's not too bad. So it's small tanks. It looks better than putting the large one on a small ship like this. My only issue now is that it's blocking my my oxygen farms. But it is giving me the um, option of giving me the hydrogen energy that we need for our thrusters. So that's a good thing. All right. So how much does it take to make a thruster? Because I have limited supply of metal grids. One thruster costs us 40 metal grids. Jeez. I only have about 80 left, right? I only have enough to make stuff other than hydrogen thrusters. So in order to get more hydrogen thrusters, I need to either probably battle something or find some cobalt, but cobalt's only on Earth. And, but that should be all. Let me pull something crazy really quick and try to leave the spot to see if I can get these guys out. All right, so. If we are to get out, are they going to follow me? Where's the other one? There's the other one. It might look like... Oh, that one's coming out. These guys got missiles, so... Fighting them, it's going to be a little tricky. Because I only have two turrets. They got like five turrets each with missiles. And that guy's heading out now. Where's he going? Oh, they went out. Nice. But now they see they're just shooting like crazy. And Yeah, they're just going crazy now. So what if I stayed out a little bit to keep them occupied so they don't come back in? Ah, that might work. Let's stick out just a little bit so they don't come back in. Maybe you'll run out bullets and everything like that, and maybe I can sneak out to rain out some stuff also but right now I'm safe so we are getting attacked like crazy here but we're for the most part we're safe where is the turrets because I see a turret on top all right so if I can get myself to the middle I should be safe and hopefully not get shot. So if I pop out really quick, ooh, that was close. Here's a rocket launcher. Let's just grind this thing out. This metal grids here too, so that's good. I do wish I have a rifle so I can start shooting the turrets down instead of grinding out his vehicle like this. There's a turret right there and there. Preoccupied, so I don't know if I can actually get to it. Um, without getting shot at. Hope I can. If I can grind this thing out. And slowly grind over to it. I might actually have it. This is a bit of a <laughs> cheesy way of doing things. But I think it has to be done right now. <laughs> so I know he is one more block above I believe. Maybe. Oh, that's not it. We're going to have to keep searching underground. Oh, there. It has to be underneath this thing. If I take this out, he should be under here. And that's the turret right there. So we can take this guy off. And it has the bullets, so I want the bullets. I'll do that for now. Actually, it doesn't matter. It's kind of mine now. That's one turret down. Where's the other turret? I hear it. Oh, jeez. There, uh, there was a turret over there too. Alright, so I don't know if I can get my stuff back now. But that was a bad move on my part. Where's my body? My body's over there. So, ooh, that's a bad idea. Alright, so let me get my body really quick. That was dumb. Alright, so we're back. Okay, so I got my stuff. So we are good to go. Let's unload a bit. Because we have way too much stuff on us. 
And how's our hydrogen? Our hydrogen looks like it's completely filled. Perfect, at 100. And we still have ice remaining. Yes. We are good. Alright, so... Since we got this guy tricked up to constantly hit me like this... I can find a way to stop him from shooting me further. And that is going to be... by taking apart these missile turrets. And let's do that. Grab the metal grids also. All right, we stopped that from doing any more damage. Um, like there's another one down here that's doing damage, but there are turrets everywhere. There is one pretty much there's an interior turret in the back, and that's what killed me earlier. But we're going to take apart this missile launcher here, so it can save on the missiles. And that stopped it, I think, right? Or not. It's not attached anymore. So it is. What happens if it turns on? It's going to start shooting. Yeah, let's not do that. Um, Alright, so... That's oh, nice to have a turret over there, which I can stop. But that is pretty much... Nope, that's not done yet. Oh, that's interior turret right here. So let's get rid of this thing. For now. Cool. So we are able to take out some of the turrets. Um, that was shooting us. Let me get back. Ooh, that was close. I need to investigate to see uh, what else I need off of this thing. And I see parts flying around. <laughs> Which looks to be the stuff that I took apart. Is he going to shoot me from this side? Are we good on this side? Alright, so I'm going to take... Oh, it fell inside with me. So that's not good. Put this, push this outside. I wanted the ammo so I can get my rifle loaded up. Come on, go outside. Uh, I'm gonna have to let it slowly float out. All right, it's finally leaving the shield. There you go. Oh, oh, I need that. Oh, oh, that's what I need. It. Perfect. Got it. That was dumb, but worked out. Alright, so we got to find a way to stop this guy. So we need to find a remote control and pretty much stop it from there. So what do we have back here? It looks like we have a small reactor. Lots of uranium, which is awesome. Right, yes, uranium. Perfect. So I think I'm going to spend some time here and uh, grind down this whole entire thing so with that said i think i'm just gonna add a nice little time lapse so you guys can see that So we are back at the economy base and a few things I did during the time lapse and one was create a large cargo box or container to store all the mats that I can that I grabbed from that ship. As you see here, I bulked most of it here and it looks like we have eh, about a quarter or one third way of st mass in here. So not too bad. But yeah, so I originally did have the ship outside the shield and accidentally nudged it a little too much and it fell down the moon um 
and I went after it. So that's what you probably saw during the time lapse. Other than that, um, not much upgrading on the ship. I was planning to rebuild the ship or completely redo the whole ship, actually. But I think I ran out of time. So, yeah, a lot of things did happen during the time lapse. A few ships came by. I don't know if you, if you can see in the time lapse as well. A ship or drone actually came by and shot a missile or two on that um, drone that I was taking apart. And I then inherited those drones into this economy base. And they are right here. <laughs> so that's one of them. And there's two other ones here. And I'm starting to think this economy base is more like an insect magnet type of thing. <laughs> because it just keeps attracting drones and they just get stuck here. So these I believe were some kind of drilling drones that went straight for this economy base. And if you get close to it. And listen carefully, there's some kind of sh shrieking noise coming out of it. And I think that's the Gatlins um, that are trying to shoot, but it's just kind of freaky if you listen carefully to it. But yeah, so this economy base has new friends. Oh, I, I missed that guy. I didn't even realize he was there. So there's a lot of new friends here. Oh no, that was the same guy. Never mind. Oh no, is it? No, there is actually another guy here. This one here. Another one here, two here. So I think this one's a drone. I mean, the drilling one, drilling one. That one's also the drilling one. And I think it's targeting the space for whatever reason. And this one is not the drilling one. So what is this one? This is the tunnel drone. So it's part of the same pack. Oh, there's tunnel drone here. And my energy's low for some reason. Turn that off and that off. Um, Yeah, so again, inherited new friends. Uh, Big boy here, Harpoon Corvette. Is still here and hopefully he'll go away sooner or later so I can take him apart. But I took his friend apart so I got a ton and tons of mats. So the next thing I'm going to do in the next episode. I'm going to rebuild this whole entire respawn pod and uh, pretty much revamp it. Make it look different. Make it look like something I built. You know. So other big changes. I, I did this welder. I did four welders to um, welders. Grinders. Four grinders to grind down the ship as quickly as possible. But at times, my regular drill was a lot better. I was able to upgrade to rank 3 drill or tier 3 drill. Drill? Grinder? <laughs> tier 2 grinder? That's why I'm keep replacing the grinder with something else. But yeah, so this looks super odd right now, as you see here, because of the large cargo container. And this ship barely got off the moon after I grind it, grinded off everything. But I did get it here, and it is oddly connected from their side so this ship next episode is probably going to be going away and looking and turn into something that's more my speed i guess you can call it but yeah and as always thank you guys so much for watching please leave a like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell so you can be alerted of next episodes once again thank you and of course i'll see you guys next time bye Oh man, just got attacked. <laughs>
They're here to drill. <laughs> What's going on here? It's insane. Getting more and more friends here. But I think I should be safe now. They're not going to do anything. Yeah, they're not doing anything. Oh, this is crazy. But yeah, I'm going to keep on going. <laughs>